Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing my first ever wardrobe tour. So the majority of my wardrobe does in fact live behind me. So just here, this is all of my dresses, some of my blouses and all of my outerwear pieces. Now this rack is super flimsy so if you see it wobble, don't worry too much. I've actively been involved in Lolita fashion for about three and a half years now, maybe four, but um, before that I just loved it from afar kind of thing. So this is my collection to date. So we're going to start with all of my dresses first, then we'll move on to blouses, outerwear and we'll quickly go through some of my accessories and shoes and handbags. I definitely do have a lot of accessories I've collected over the years so we'll just look at some of my favorite pieces. I'll show you the dress that I'm wearing right now. So this one right here no doubt you have seen quite a lot. This is my most worn dress out of my whole collection. I love it to pieces. I think it's super cute. It's really comfortable and this like celestial print is my favorite ever. It's just super precious. I do adore it. We'll start with this one here which is my most recent recent addition to my wardrobe. This is from a brand called Winky and it is from Taobao. So this one is definitely my favorite dress in my collection currently. It is this stunning red color. It's got strawberry theme at the bottom which is just to die for. I love strawberries and I love the color red so I've been really excited to finally add this into my wardrobe. One of the best things about this dress is, can you believe it, it has pockets. So that's amazing. This is my first Lolita dress with pockets, so it's very exciting, very practical. I've not worn this dress further than my front yard, so I'm super excited for our next meetup because I will definitely be wearing this one out. This is from the brand called Two Alice. They are a super cute Chinese brand. I actually bought this in Japan because they do have a physical shop in Harajuku. I totally recommend checking it out if you're visiting. So the whole dress is covered in this super cute print. This just screams sweet Lolita to me. It's all sugary baked goods as well as some unbaked goods like candy and popsicles and just everything, everything that is sweet and cute. The lace on this dress is almost one of my favorite parts. It has like little bunnies and like little wands and little moons. It's so precious. I really, really love super detailed lace. It just adds another, I don't know, another beautiful aspect. So this is from the brand called Putumeo. And I'm always scared I'm gonna say that one wrong. But um, yeah, it is this stunning Alice in Wonderland theme. It is such a cute print. I really adore it. You might not recognize it that much because I normally always put a big, like a uh, darker blue bow here on top of this white bib. The white bib is fairly cute as well, but often I like incorporating more of that navy blue up into the, the neck area. But yeah, it's, it's very cute. Next up is my very first holiday themed dress. So this one here is from the brand called 73, I think. I got it on Taobao and I bought this one for Halloween. So nothing about it is like specific to Halloween. It's just that it is spooky themed and I bought it to go to Halloween meetup. So she is my very first holiday dress in my opinion. So the print itself is super cute. I still find it very sweet, even though it is black, you know, not all black Lolita is gothic. This is still super sweet. We have unicorns at the bottom, but they're skeleton unicorns. So still super creepy at the same time. This dress is also covered in like other little skulls and stars and clouds and moons and its celestial theme is probably my favorite if not my second favorite to like sugary baked goods I guess. But yeah, it's really adorable, but still super spooky. So this one here was in fact my very first Lolita dress. So she's from Bodyline, and I feel like this is a lot of people's very first Lolita dress. It's a very popular print. It's called Cecilia Merry-Go-Round, and we just have these super cute horses on a merry-go-round around the bottom. It's covered in stars, and I absolutely love stars. And yeah, just everything about this, I really adore. I suppose I'm super nostalgic over her since she was my first dress. Some of my favorite photos, full stop, in Lolita have been taken in this dress. I'll show you a couple of them, because I feel like, yeah, it really goes to show that even if it is a cheaper dress, if you accessorize it right and, you know, do it justice, you can get still really beautiful photos. So yeah, even though she's body line, some people like to look down on that. I don't care. I think she's beautiful and I'm never gonna sell this one. So this next dress I actually feel a little sneaky showing you. I've only worn it once and I've actually decided to sell it. So I don't sell anything ever. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, depends who you ask. I forget the name of the print of this dress, but she is stunning. It's this really cute lilac purple color. The bottoms is real particular, like turquoise blue. It does make it a little tricky to coordinate in some aspects, unless you're matching the purple and the gold, the blue can be difficult to match. 
but it's a very cute dress. It has like little horses oh no these ones are unicorns <laughs> it has unicorns at the bottom which are precious and it has a bunch of moons and stars i love me some moons and stars this dress is still available on the bodyline website but it's like 50 dollars in my opinion i don't think this is worth 50 dollars i don't think a lot of the bodyline dresses are worth the price they're asking for yes they are more affordable than some things and they're easier to obtain because you don't need a shopping service but I don't think this is worth that money. Um, that's why I was really happy that I am able to sell it to my friend because she wanted to buy the new one online. And I was like, no, I'll sell mine. Um, so yeah, since I don't wear this dress ever, I'm really pleased that someone else is going to be wearing it and someone else is going to love it because she does deserve some love. This dress is the last one in my collection. It is also from Bodyline and it's my only other OP. The lace on this dress is definitely very cheap. So I find this dress very scratchy to wear. Since I'm not wearing a blouse underneath it, you know, you really notice the lace on the arms and even around the neck. I've only worn this dress once, I think, but the print on the bottom, I just, I love this print so much. I'm pretty sure it's called like Magical Squirrel Tea Party. And I mean, I would buy the dress just on the name alone, honestly. It is so cute. It has little squirrels just living their best life, enjoying cakes and tea parties and being magical, I guess. I really, truly love the print on this. The only thing is that I'm not super confident in like coordinating pastels with black. You can definitely do it very well, I have not in the past. I think the one time I wore this dress, I didn't, you know, totally love the way that I did it. So I want to hold on to it because I do love the print and I really want to do it justice. I would love to try to coordinate this again in a better way so I could, you know, actually enjoy it some more. I am going to be cheeky and show you one extra dress. So this dress is not exactly Lolita fashion. It's definitely uh, Gairu, Gairu fashion, which is like girly girls, girl fashion. And it's this here. So I want to show it to you because she is quite lowlable in some senses. I will wear it to some of our meetups, you know, but it's understood it's not Lolita. It's just super like girly cute fashion. Not everything that's cute is Lolita. So I did buy this dress secondhand from Closet Child. It's actually from Liz Lisa and it's a crossover with Sanrio. So the print is so stunning. It has my melody and perfume bottles and roses and like makeup. I love the print of this dress so much. It's just overall very cute. I do keep it with my Lolita dresses because it just adds like a little bit of pink and I would love a pink dress to be honest. But yeah, I do hold it with the other dresses just because she is cute and she needs some cute friends to hang out with. So that was all of my dresses. Now I'm gonna show you some of my favorite blouses. Blouses are definitely the item that I own the most of and I think that's really good in my opinion. If you own more blouses, it means that you can make more coordinates out of one to two dresses. I think it's a good investment to get, you know, a couple different cuts or colors things that will suit what you own. So this one here is definitely my like fanciest, cutest blouse, I think. She's old school, angelic, pretty. She's got this really scandalous like, you know, cutaway shoulder area, which I love. It's really ruffled. It's got lace everywhere. She's just, she's so detailed. It even has little like crystal buttons. Can you see? Yeah, this blouse is super cute. Up next is this super simple yet super cute blouse from Secret Honey. She has this like sailor collar flap out the back, which I really adore. I recently paired this with that uh, Alice in Wonderland print dress that you saw and I loved it. The blue, the navy blue matches like perfectly. So this is probably my new favorite blouse to pair with that dress. I bought this one secondhand, but it is in fact from Bodyline. So it's fairly cute blouse. You know, she's got sweet lace and like nice ribbon work at the top. But my favorite part about this blouse is the back. So here it is. Can you see that? It has bunny ears. These are, this is, oh, this is just the most cute thing. I'm almost like speechless with how adorable it is. It definitely used to be my favorite blouse to wear with that Alice in Wonderland themed dress. You know, clearly white, white rabbits. But yeah, she's so precious. I only wish the material was a little thinner because I'm kind of only left to wear this in winter time since it's so hot. This one here was my all time favorite blouse of last year. So it has uh, neck straps, which is what you'll notice about these, like the cute crossover neck situation. I love that. And aside from that, my favorite part about this blouse is the sleeves. These are princess sleeves and these are everything. Oh, I really need more princess sleeves in my wardrobe. I'm unemployed now, so I don't know when that'll happen, but I really adore these. These are like the most fun to wear. I just, I feel so magical and cute and just even more like a princess. 
I've only got a couple of official like outerwear pieces for Lolita. I'm pretty casual in the sense that like I'm all good to wear my denim jacket or like a knitted cardigan with you know my coordinate. I think that's cute. I'm, I'm fine with that. So out of the two items I own, here's one of them. This one here, I absolutely adore. So this is one of my like prized possessions. I don't wear her often enough, that's for sure. This is from Angelic Pretty. So it's this super cute like little cape, as you can see. The lace is like attachable and detachable with buttons. That's so thoughtful. I really, I love that detail. And the best part is the back, or I suppose it's the hood. So let me bring it up to show you. She has little bear ears, which is just the most precious thing ever. I love these ears. They are adorable. There's an extra little bow here which is just pinned on casually because you know you can attach that one to the front when you do it up. Yes, I love this so much. I definitely don't wear her enough. I need some more winter meetups so I can I can enjoy this some more. And lucky last is this huge poncho coat um, cape. It doesn't have arms, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's amazing. It is so heavy and so hefty, I can barely hold it up for very long. But the front has these big buttons, they like snap close with these snap, you know, buttons which is fabulous. The inside is fuzzy and warm. It's got huge pockets here which is just super cool. Again, one of the best parts about this is the back. So, bum -ba bum those are bunny ears. I'll bring it forward so you can see. The bunny ears are like stuffed pretty well, so they do like hold their shape when it's on your head, which is super adorable. This coat is so warm and heavy and like chunky. It honestly has to be like freezing for me to be able to wear it. This is where I keep some of my accessories. I just got these cubby holes super recently, so it's not fully decorated. Here's a quick look at all of the stuff in here. So this is just some of my Lolita accessories and some other bits and bobs that are just pretty cute. I'll show you some of my favorite items. So these here are some little cute mini macaron earrings that I made from polymer clay. These are some lovely chunky rings I got from Closet Child. This is a super cute pendant I bought while in Japan. And this super adorable Nile perch pin, which is also a hair clip. Back at the wardrobe, we are going to turn slightly and have a look at some of my longer hanging necklaces. So here are some necklaces that I made out of polymer clay and some resin, of course, which is what makes them shiny. I do adore making my own jewelry to suit coordinates. It just makes it a little bit more fun and personal. So this is the most expensive jewelry that I own actually and it is this gorgeous little macaron necklace from Coupot on a stunning gold chain. Now over to some of my bows and some of my hair clips. So this one here is definitely one of my favorite hair clips and that's because it's just so iconic in Lolita fashion. I was really happy when I found this second hand. Here is a little candy and a little cinema roll hair clip I love. And lastly, some plushy hair clips that are like little wings that I totally adore to wear. So this is where I store a bunch more of my head bows as well as hair ties and little bits of ribbon that I like to put in my hair too. Currently I store all of my headbands on the edge of this hanger. I do want a better situation for these, I'm just not sure exactly what. Here are some of my faves, starting with my new strawberry headband. It's got a lot of cute details I adore. This is the headband for my two Alice dress. I really love the hanging star and pearl details. I got this headband from Sanrio Pearl Land. It's of Cinema Roll, my absolute favorite. So I would totally love to one day make a Cinema Roll themed cord. So now for my shoes. These are all of the shoes that I will wear for different cords. I'm definitely a supporter of sneakers in Lolita fashion. I think it's cute and comfy. These are some of my favorite sneakers full stop, which I love to wear with some dresses. These are the newest addition to my shoe collection. They are super simple, cute, red little heels. These are actually my first Lolita shoes. I absolutely love the style. I still think they're gorgeous. Pretty faded, but very cute. These shoes are definitely the hardest to walk in out of my whole collection, but they're so cute. I love them. Now we're on to bags. So I wouldn't say any of these are only for my Lolita fashion. A lot of these I wear all of the time just with my casual outfits as well, but they're all very cute and I definitely do use them for Lolita too. This is one of the few pieces of AP that I do own. So it's a super cute like little love letter messenger bag purse. I actually got it secondhand at a swap meet. 
This is definitely my most prized Lolita accessory. This is gorgeous little Usakumia from Baby. She is a super tiny mini backpack. I do have a different strap on there so I could wear her around my waist. She's got a tiny little zip where you can like fit two dollars in there if you're lucky. And a surprise to everybody, she makes sound. Next up is my cinema roll bag. He is my absolute favorite Sanrio character. I love him. Lucky last is my Luna inspired bag. I really adore this one for how simple yet cute she is. So that's it, that is my whole wardrobe tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really liked seeing all of my pieces. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit more about them, like how I got them or what I feel about them. Um, I really like recording that or I like having that on record kind of thing. I'm very excited to say look back next year and see what my collection was, see what I've added or changed and see how I felt about stuff because you know I'm saying right now that strawberry dress is my favorite but who knows by the end of the year so I'm excited to look back on this myself. If you've posted your wardrobe tour or made like an old school blog or something, totally let me know about it. Hit me up on Instagram and stuff. You know, I'm all about growing our community bigger and stronger. I love Lolita fashion so much and the community is a really cool aspect that comes along with it. Thanks again for watching. I always really appreciate you being here and like maybe wanting to listen to what I might have to share with you. But yes, that's a lot. So hopefully I'll get to see you in my next video. Bye!